Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today is my October 2021 empties. I'm a little late getting this video out, um, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, better late than never. Um, I did use up quite a bit in October, so I'm excited to share all the products with you. Also too, to kind of announce that um, anything that is from the Dollar Tree is not gonna be in this empties. I'm gonna end up doing like a separate Dollar Tree empties video um, and I might not be able to do that once a month but I'm planning on maybe doing that every two months or so because you know those that's a bit more specific thing so but yeah that is my idea so anything that I used up from the Dollar Tree will not be in here and that will be a separate video it's some frequency like I said maybe next month sometime will be my first one of those so I did want to let you know that but um but yeah I did go through quite a bit this month so um, if you do enjoy empties videos you know I always will have my empties playlist linked down below in the description box I've done an empties video every month since I started my channel over two years ago so if that sounds good to you definitely go binge watch that playlist of course, if you are returning to my channel, you know all of this. Um, so definitely thank you for returning. And of course, if you're new, I do hope that you will subscribe and become what I like to call one of my dollar divas. We love to do a lot of Dollar Tree oriented content, but I also do empties videos as well. And so if that's your thing, definitely, definitely make sure you become one of my dollar divas and hit that subscribe button. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So the first thing I used up was a couple of packages of wipes. Um, one is my usual baby wipes, my CVS brand, 72 count, ultra soft, fragrance free, my kind of standard, you see these about every other month in my empties. So these are a staple for me, I buy them at CVS, usually get them in a three pack, sometimes I've gotten them in a six pack. Sometimes I've just picked up one. So yeah, these are a staple as far as baby wipes go for me. I ended up getting a lot of coupons at CVS, you know, through the app, all that kind of thing. So it's staple for me, so I used up another pack. Then a new brand of makeup removing wipes that I used was the CeraVe. These are the Ultra Gentle Makeup Removing Cleanser Cloths. There was 25 of them, and these have that eczema seal of like approval. You know, so if you have really sensitive skin, of course they're fragrance free, non-drying. They remove your makeup and all that good stuff. And I was having some skin problems this year in which I will probably share in a separate video. I've got it all under control, but I've been using a lot of CeraVe, a lot of very gentle products on my skin for a big portion of this year because I had to try to figure out what was going on. And like I said, I did get it figured out and that will probably be a separate video at some point. Um, but yeah, so I used these up. I really, really liked them. Um, I don't really use a lot of uh, makeup wipes on my skin anymore as a result of what I was dealing with. So I do have a pack of makeup removing wipes. I have my just my usual Beauty 360 generic of the Aveeno Ultra Calming. They're like, you know, one of my all time favorites, but I don't use them very much. I, I take off my makeup in a much gentler way now. So I will not go through makeup wipes as quickly as I have been, but I did use up a pack of these. Probably bought these like two or three months ago. So it did take me a couple months to go through them. So that's how little I use them. But they were really, really nice. I enjoyed them a lot. So like I said, I have not repurchased, but I definitely would if I needed some makeup wipes. So again, speaking of skin and using gentle products, I used this cleanser up. This is the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. And I may have had this in a Favorites and Fails. Um, I really enjoyed it. It lathered up nice. Um, it was very gentle. And it turns out that the problems that were happening with my skin were internal, not external. So I was able and I'm currently using all my old skincare products. But this was a really nice cleanser. It foamed really nice. Of course, no scent, all that kind of stuff. So I would definitely repurchase this again. Although um, a gentle cleanser I do have now is a Cetaphil one, I believe, and it's a foaming one, and it's amazing as well. So yeah, I've enjoyed these gentle cleansers and would purchase them again, but like I said, I'm able to kind of use my old skincare products, my anti-aging stuff, and like my Shiseido cleanser and all that stuff, because turns out everything was internal. So, but I did enjoy this, and if you have really sensitive skin, definitely give this a try. It would probably work really great for you. So I used up a couple of cans of hairspray. This one here is a staple for me. This is the John Frieda Frizzies Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. And I think I've used one or two of these before in the past. It's a very firm hold hairspray. 
when I don't want my hair to move, this is what I use. And I found this after another one that they had. They kind of discontinued it, but I really think they just repackaged it. So like I said, if you want a really firm hold hairspray, this is what you want. So this is a staple item for me. I already have my other one that I'm using now. So I really love this stuff. Then this here, I used it in the past, like a couple years ago. And then I found it at Marshall's for $8.99. So it's this healthy, sexy hair. It's from their alcohol free line. And this is the Pure Addiction hairspray. And I actually bought, I think, three of these when I found them. So I've got this one, I've got a spare, and I've got one that I'm currently using. And I really like it. It's kind of like a nice medium hold hairspray. Um, so I think for, if you can find it for $8.99, I wouldn't pay full price, but if you can find it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx for less than 10 bucks, definitely a really nice hairspray. And if you don't want to use alcohol in your hair, like having it dry out or anything like that, this would be a good product. So definitely look for it in those types of stores. But yeah, I do enjoy this if I can find it discounted. Then some more hair items, and then I do have some makeup and a couple other random items. So I did do my roots, and actually I had a Dollar Diva ask me what I what hair color I used. Normally I bleach my hair, touch up my roots through a cap. I know, old school, don't make fun of me, and then I'll tone it. This time, since I, I have a lot of gray, I just decided to use a high lift blonde dye to lift my roots and it really worked out really nice I mean, they're a little brassy but like I, it doesn't really bother me and of course they're growing out now a little bit but I really liked the result um, so I'm gonna continue to use this like in between like the big job that I do with the cap and all that stuff just to kind of get me through sometimes but this is what I used it's the L'Oreal for, that you buy this from back from Sally's it's the it's the L'Oreal excellence high color highlights it's for dark hair only. So when I do it, I really just try to get it on my roots, all that kind of thing. And this is in Golden Blonde. So I used this with, I believe, a 40 volume developer. And so I did use up a 40 volume developer. And I, I use the L'Oreal, I'll use Wella. I've used a couple different brands. I'll use Ion. So I'm not brand specific with my developers. And I will repurchase this again. I definitely will. I wanna try it another time or two and see kind of what it does with some extended use. So I will definitely repurchase this again and try it out. And of course, like I said, I've always, this is always a staple for me. Then I used up one of my favorite deep conditioners of all time. It's the It's a 10 five minute hair repair for blondes. And I've used up several of these. You've seen this in my empties many times. And I think the first time I ever tried this was, I got a sample in like an Ipsy or something like that and loved it. So I do go back to it. I don't always run out and repurchase it, but I always will at some point. And I love the leave-in conditioner as well. I wanna try the shampoo as well. So I haven't done that yet, but I do wanna try the shampoo. Love this stuff. So I do always repurchase this at some point. Then this product here, I'm gonna sit here and say it's it works. It really does work. And I know when I bought it, I said I would let you guys know. And that was several months ago um, in a, I think it was like a Walmart beauty haul or something. But this is the L'Oreal. I have a lot of L'Oreal products today. This is the L'Oreal Your Dark Roots Back to Blonde Magic Root Cover Up. This is in light blonde. What separates this from the other ones is that the other ones are designed for like for gray. When you get gray roots, you spray your gray roots. This one is designed to cover dark roots. I've got a couple of these already because they work. And so yeah, it claims to cover up your dark roots. And it shows you right here, the picture. And you know, I don't use it like regularly on my hair. I tend to wear, use it when I'm wearing like my wigs or my hair pieces and you can see a little bit of my root, I'll just spray it. I don't know if it's a complete miracle and it has a little bit of a, like a yellow cast, but it does cover I, like if you have a dark spot. So I do have another j bottle of it. I've got like several backups. And I think it's because I could buy two for one. So I'm gonna kind of show you. Kind of what it does. It is not a perfect result. Um, but like I said, for me personally, the way I use it is when I'm wearing my wigs. And like I said, you know, you can see that it does cover. I do wish they had a little bit of a different color selection. I wish they had one that was like a little cooler because I think this is gonna be pretty warm for some people. But as you can see, it does work. Um, you just have to kind of find the right application and see if it's the right product for you. But I, this is a staple for me, mainly for the stage. So I do like this very much and already have several backups. So this is kind of a random item. It's just this hand wash. I don't even know what brand it is, but it came in like a set 
and I got it at Marshall's and it comes in like a set with like a little caddy and so and it does have like a matching lotion which I'm still using because I use the soap quicker than I use the lotion so use that up so I've got a perfume a chapstick and then we've got makeup so this is the pink candy um oh and it just smells so good this is five dollars at five below and I've got a backup already and I also have the real like the pink sugar and I have a friend that says this is actually more of a dupe for Pink Sugar had some a uh, perfume called Black Sugar. And she said that this actually seems to be more of a dupe for that. Either way, it's sweet, it's wonderful, it's cheap, it smells amazing. I always get compliments. So went through another one, already have a backup. Love this stuff so, so very much. Then a chapstick. This is the O'Keeffe's, which you know I love, lip repair. This is the one with the SPF 35. And I go through these I like crazy. I have already used up one for next month's empties. So yeah, I like them with SPF and the regular unscented as well. So love this stuff, staple item for me for sure. So the last bit is makeup. So I used two Shop Miss A BB creams. Um, one is in tan, one is in light. Of course, I cut them open to get all the product out. These were from a Shop Miss A haul that I did last year. So I wanted to go ahead and use them up. Really nice product for a dollar. So I still get like a lot of face products, so I'm not gonna like run and repurchase these, but they were really nice and used them both up about the same time. Then I used up this Joa Selfie Ready Setting Powder. This is in banana. Of course, I took the thing off and used up the whole thing. You know, it was okay. I would probably buy it again in a pinch, but not my favorite setting powder. I found that it was better for my skin in the winter time when I was not tan, but used that up. Then this was a sample I got from like an Ipsy or something like that. It's the YC Collection Matte Bronzer in Caramello and used up the whole thing there. I loved this bronzer. Um, I will not like repurchase it because I just get so many other bronzers that I love, but for a period of time, this was my absolute favorite bronzer that I had in my collection. So I used up a setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter and I actually received this. It's a smaller version it's not the original size, it's the 30 milliliter or one ounce. I actually got this from Influister. So I was super excited. Um, I used up a, a full size of this a couple months ago. And honestly, I won't run out and repurchase. I don't really, I haven't noticed a difference personally in different um, setting sprays. So I will not like run out and repurchase the Urban Decay one, but I did like it. The couple bottles that I have that I've used. I've enjoyed. Then from that same Shop Miss A haul from last year, and this is kind of gross, but it's my lash glue. It's the AOA Studio Super Strip Lash Adhesive. And I took the stopper out and I've used the whole thing. So enjoyed it. Like I said, I find lots of lash glue at the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So I won't make an order just to buy this, but it was really, really nice. And last but not least is a product I'm just gonna go ahead and let go. It's very, very well loved. It's too well loved. But it's one of my favorite lipsticks are these. They're the Wet n Wild Mega Last. And I don't even know if they really make them anymore. Um, this is in Stoplight Red. And it's just, um, the container's kind of broken. And the lipstick has just broken off and come out so many times. And I really can't even keep it in my makeup bag anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and just like let it pass on peacefully. <laughs> So it was really exciting to use up so much makeup. I really tried to, if anything was looking like it was getting ready to be done, I really put it in my makeup bag and would use it to try to finish it. So it was with a lot of hard work that I was able to finish up some stuff, especially in the makeup department this month. So I hope that you enjoyed another empties video. And if you did, show me you did by hitting that like button. Also share this video with anyone you know that enjoys empties videos. And like I said, I will have my entire empties playlist link down below in the description box if you want to binge watch more empties videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.